if Jones is going to continue to struggle because he's going to be defensively guarding Brogdon, who's going to be the one or two guys offensively that can step up for Butler to supplant that offense? Gathers. Etherington. That was a three by. He said, him and Mike Toby before that Louisville game, that big win for Virginia on the road, Toby came to him and said, look, I want a bigger role on this team. What can I do to help this team win? And Coach Bennett told him, just play with reckless abandonment. That's all I want from you. Goes out that night, 15 points and 20 rebounds. Tyler Tyler's got 17. <laughs> Dunham back on the floor. This Butler team almost six minutes without a field goal. Martin into the triple team, gathers for three. That's what Carter does so well. A pass first guard and the general out there when he puts it on the deck, always setting up his teammates. Well, he said he wanted that type of attitude. That's why they changed the starting lineup recently. Jones this time uses the right. Love that action. The back screen for Dunham sprinting right into the pick and roll. Edmonton's lob. Weidman corrals, fades, and hits. He left the game for a moment after crashing down to his shoulder, went back to the locker room with a trainer, came back in, with, was not particularly sharp. Meanwhile, Butler has two players in double figures, both Dunham and Martin. The second half begins with an uncontested drive from Andrew. Him the first time around, so they're not doing a bad job in the half court defensively. It's the points off turnovers that have killed them. A dozen turnovers now in the first half for the Hoyts. Jones guarded by Smith Rivera. Jones, nice dish to Shrabis. Foul trouble. Derrickson and Pete with four. Johnson and Govan, three apiece. And another turnover by Georgetown. Now that was a scouting report turnover. They know that Govan in the low post wants to go to his left shoulder. Tyler Weidman overplayed that left shoulder and just made a very easy steal. How many five steals for Tyler Weidman in this game? Dunham drives and scores. That was a big time. Three minutes to play. Hayes with nine. And Georgetown's going to really exhibit some toughness rebounding that Bumble team out rebounding on offense and defense. Jones. I don't know how he gets that stuff. They weren't pros, but I got my Seattle gear rolling deep. Thunderbirds still have my Sonics gear, man. All right. We miss it. <laughs> we certainly miss it. Baseline, inside, and that's a power move. Because Seton Hall naturally wants to drive the ball. Make them a jump shooting team, you have a better chance. There's those punches. Nice job by the sophomore creating space. He's got nine. His team back within seven. Take to the I think Chris Holtman uh, realizes that he's just trying to get all the pieces meshed together as they go to the back end of the Big East schedule. And the tendency is at home, bench has played better, so look for DePaul's supporting cast here to try to contribute upon entering the game. They've got to set a little bit of a tone. Seen the whole for their fifth straight Big East win. It was something they haven't done since the 2008-09 season. Done them. Wow. All good officials in the Hinkle this evening. Hetherington with the career high. Finds the crack or the seam as well as anybody in the Big East. Like trying to guard a church mouse. Huh? Tough to keep him in front of you. Hetherington. Dunham. Inside attempt to shoot. Weidman with a screen for Lewis. That closed off. Lobbed it to the free throw line for Jones. With a mix out. Zierden puts on the floor. 2-1 has to put it up. Good defense. Here comes Dunham. Great defense from Roosevelt Jones. 
Elon Martin jumps up. He is able to go one on one, and when he makes a quick decision, Gus, he's virtually unstoppable in the post. Reynolds with 17 points against Creighton on five of 15 shooting. He also had nine rebounds and two blocks. Now Keelan Martin curling down the lane, cut off. Guarded by Miles Davis, so he's got a height advantage. Here's the ball, Jones. Sixty-one forty-nine. Double-digit lead for the Friars once again. Travis against Bullock. Drop step with the left hand puts it in. I like that. Smith Rivera with the kickball. So Butler now with a four-point lead. 11.45 to go in the first half. Georgetown switching up defensively. Now they're back in that man-to-man -man defense. Dunham back in the game for the Bulldogs. Here's Lewis to the hoop for two. See, that's bad defense. The jumper went to Park Tudor High School where he averaged 30. Jimmy, I know he's a man that you like. Well, I like him a lot because he's dedicated himself to get in better shape. And as a result, he's more efficient and effective on the court via that step-back move right there with this poker. Now Dunham on the baseline. Travis with look, drives, gets to the hole, and then kind of it. I'm trying to turn that ball through the offense. Here's your alley. Put the ball on the deck in that mid range game there to perfection. Lee Ellison, fifth time him now starting at the point for the Red Storm. Of course, the son of Purvis Ellison. Never nervous Purvis. That's right. The national championship at Louisville as a freshman. And of course, the number one pick in the NBA. Here's Keelan. So, a windshield wiper type game with a bunch of shooters, you're not going to come out on the, the winning end of that. Eichmann checks out. Etherington comes in. Martin on top. Stratus has the ball down the lane. Tries and scoops it home. This year in particular, number three in points allowed in all of college basketball with the new rules with the fluid offense now being officiated. And that's why if you're Butler, nice pass there by Dunham to Travis for his second. Tough for fans to understand. Uh, it's baby steps. It's incremental. Uh, you want it to happen overnight and be back in a Sweet 16 or a Final Four. Uh, but if you're going to build a program in the right manner, it takes time. Good lob over the top. And it's wide. But he's a, an entrepreneurship major. And he wants to start his own business, maybe go into the software business. Coach, we got to save our money so if this kid gets out of school, we can invest in it. I would I certainly bet on him, I'm telling you. Can't believe he's a senior already, though. Fast it goes by for these kids. Nice repin, a little yo-yo job. It up and buries it. Marquette with a young team. Steve Majowski would admit this. It's sometimes not. Oh, hello! Marquette staying man to man. They've switched some of their personnel. But a lot of switching one through four. To stay home with Fisher inside on Travis. Under 10, here is Travis, using the right and using the glass. Here we go, shifting in the paint, trying the reverse. Rebound by Weidman, the left to six. Jones, Dunham, they set the offense. You need to be in a hurry here with your butler. Run some time off, be very methodical, and allow Jones or Dunham to be special. Butler shooting 48%. Three, Dunham. Good! Hits it. On the baseline, who now has five points. Was that the left hand, I think? Yes, it was. <laughs> the big upside. JT3 really happy with his young group, the freshman. Dunham to Etherington. In the corner, Indiana transfer. Extra pass. Jones. On the defensive end, either.
Dunham working hard to get open and pays it off with another three. They're penetrating the navy blue paint too easy at this end. Eight point lead after the Ellison free throw. Travis right to the rim. Brogdon has his paw prints all over this. That was a great drive again. Drawing the defense, finding the open Toby. Virginia with their biggest lead of six. And they've got to bring back Travis. Lewis with a lot of small bodies and more from Plano, Texas comes up with two. Well, miscommunication at the defensive end for Butler. You've got to let him know that back screen is there, but nice pass by Evans. With an outside shot, no surprise.